great country. That's my thoughts. Best country in the world. Great. And it won't take long. It's not going to take long. You see what's going on. It's coming back. It's coming back strong. It'll be greater than ever before. some comments by Val Demings, uh, who uh, is a Democrat, obviously, from Florida and former police chief uh, from Florida. Here's what she, she does not agree with you that the president is handling this well. Here's what she had to say. As we're going through this public health crisis with COVID-19, and as we're certainly all watching and grieving with the Floyd family, America is on fire right now. And the president of the United States is walking around with gasoline. What do you think of that, Senator? Martha, as I said earlier, uh, as it relates to folks who seem to be stoking the flames, stoking the embers, not helpful. Uh, to be honest with you, what we really need uh, is the enemy of chaos is order. We need order, we need structure, we need discipline, and frankly, we need people leaning in with compassion. Uh, I think pointing fingers is the wrong direction right now, focusing on the future and having a real conversation about race and justice necessary. Uh, pointing fingers, uh, uh, really throwing bombs towards one another, uh, it only eliminates all life. So I would recommend that we focus our attention on progress. And uh, I'm sure that Val is emotional uh, at this time as well. But the truth of the matter is that we all make more progress together. The VA was defaced. Literally the word veteran spray painted out of the placard in front of the Department of Veteran Affairs. The Lincoln De Memorial defaced. How does that make much sense? The place where the March on Washington began, that, mo that momentous occasion in the history of civil rights, that memorial was defaced last night. That doesn't honor the legacy of George Floyd. It doesn't. And certainly not the burning of St. John's Church. Look, the St. John's, I think it's important to go through a little bit of this, but Reverend John C. Harper was the St. John's rector many centuries ago, at least decades, centuries and a few decades ago. And here's what he was told. He was told he needed to close St. John's because he couldn't leave it open for the March on Washington because, quote, it might be a bloodbath. But he stood boldly. He stood boldly and he stood on the side of justice. And on the day the March on Washington happened, Here's what was sung from that church. One family on earth are we throughout its widest span. Oh, help us everywhere to see the brotherhood of man. And of course, we know that the March on Washington ended with Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. giving that incredible speech, I have a dream. And that church, the same church that was burning last night, here is what they said, taking that bold stance to support Martin Luther King. They said this, this church building is open as it has always been, so all who want to worship here. The ministry of this parish is extended to any who seek it. Our fellowship with one another has no limitations whatsoever. That church supported the bold civil rights moment of the March on Washington, which began at the Lincoln Memorial. That doesn't honor the legacy of George Floyd. It doesn't further the cause. And those are violent anarchists Antifa who are taking advantage of the pain of people, the pain of the peaceful protesters. It's inexcusable and we have to stand as one America against the burning of the church and the defacement of the Lincoln Memorial.